Welcome, Terry Lindebroy, Traveling Artista. This morning I want to pull together in this basic drawing video number four some of the concepts we've learned up to now. It's a good idea to practice and the more you practice and the different varieties of things you use, the better it is. Now here I have taken combinations of some of those elements we've used. We have a cube, a cylinder, a couple cylinders, and kind of a cone over here. And as you can see, I try to make them white objects, but nothing is actually white because of the way light affects everything we look at. But um, I have two drawing tools here today. I have my vine charcoal and my charcoal pencil. This is a 6B. It's rather soft, rather dark, and that will help make the lines stand out for you when I'm finishing. I also have my kneaded eraser. This is a great tool, works for many different things, and it's very soothing during times of stress. So if you're thinking and stuff, it, as you pull it apart, it cleanses the, the eraser and um, also cleans your fingers a bit. So now we're going to start. Here we are. I'm thinking right off the bat, I want to decide how tall my still life is compared to how wide it is. So I try to measure it out. I've started a little tick mark here, but here I'm going to go, here's the top and about here's the bottom. So the furthest thing from the back from my point of view and the closest thing. I've tried to set the camera up so you a little bit more in my point of view. Tick, tick. And then from here to the side, it's wider than it is high. So that should be the edge of this butter dish, and then the flower should basically fit within here. So you can see it is a little wider than it is high. And then I start bringing, this is closest corner is usually what I start with, and I kind of use that as my, my um, unit of measure. It's vertical, so it's not gonna switch, that is nice. Then from here, I decide that corner, and looking at perpendicular to my line of sight here, I can see what angle that goes off and which angle that goes off. So I'm approximating about this angle for that side and about this angle for coming out this way. Now remember, in reality, anything that is parallel to this line is going to remain parallel at least. You don't want it diverging this way. You want it at least parallel. So that one, and then we'll find out where the back is later. Again, a perpendicular line. If I can draw this morning. And then this is parallel to this. Is parallel to this. And I'm going in this direction basically because that's the best way my hand works. Vertical, back here, let's decide how far back that is. If this is a unit of measure and this is one, then I'm going to compare this to this. One, two, about a little more. One, two, about two and a half. So I'm going to put that right about there. Parallel, parallel, parallel. So there I have a basic um, butter dish hanging in there. And then where does this mortar fit and touch onto that butter dish? So it's right about in there, and then I can see that that flower stem heads out that way, and I'm going to make that into a cone that starts right about there. So I'm thinking cone here, and I'm already getting, it's looser, but that's okay. I'm already getting some of my basic elements in here in relationship to each other. Remember we talked about the proportions and the relationships. That measurement looks about right. I'm looking from the base here to the top there and what the difference is between the height of the butter dish to the height of that and then about where I'm going to fit that within. So I'm comparing the top tick here is back here and this tick is basically right about there. And then the width I kind of have that heading out from there to there because of I measured here where it touches the butter dish, so it's in relationship to that. And then I'm going to start that nice ellipse here. I want to bring it down a little bit more, make those adjustments nice and easy. So 
step back. It's coming along. Not perfect. Here is that um, pestle in there and my oval here is going to be perpendicular to that central axis of that. That's just the center line to give me the angle. And then this will go off this way. It's a little wider, a little thicker. Let's put that in there. I'm really not trying to shade right now. I am just trying to get um, the basic feeling of these objects comes down and then it has a rounded end that fits on there. That's what's going on there. Fits down into that. Okay. Now we'll start defining a little more. I'm going to start with this object that's further away. I can now get my heavier charcoal pencil to complete those lines. Now as it goes around here, it's catching light, but also there's an outside rim and an inside rim here. And I'm not going to show it all because of our limited amount of time. Enjoy the marks and the strokes. Be thinking at all times. I do think that's too long. I'm going to shorten that. As I'm looking at it, it doesn't come out that far past there. It comes out over this corner of this butter dish, more or less, right about here. So I'm going to bring that down in. There. That's a little more proportionally correct. All right, now my butter dish. I can see that the edges here are a little bit rounded, so I'm just going to draw those tangent lines. See how they're kind of just tangent lines going across there at the angle, so I know where that's going. And I don't care if my lines go out over the other objects a little bit, you know? This kind of shows when you see these lines in a lot of your master's drawings, not that I'm a master, but um, it just kind of makes everything a little more interesting. You can see the thinking process of the artist. I like to see how the artist thinks. When you go to museums and things, I'm just going to quickly put this little button in here. Um, you notice how people stand back and look at the art, and the beautiful uh, paintings and things in a museum, they're like, oh, oh yeah, so, so nice. And then you see other people up there going like this, so close that it makes the guards a little bit nervous. Those are probably the artists, because they're standing there going like, ooh, how did they do that? That is so interesting. So uh, I'm always trying to figure out how other people did things. And the nice thing about social media today is that a lot of artists, and quite well-known artists, are very willing to share their processes and their thoughts and medium and everything with you. So uh, don't be too shy to ask them because a lot of us are teachers and we want people to learn. Now I'm going to soften that line there because it is softer. There is a little angle here but I'm just doing a quick drawing. This is that little dish that that fits into. Again, parallel, parallel goes off in this direction. I'm always thinking how that's working in relationship to the other. Always, always thinking. And there's a nice little rim here and stuff, but I'm not going to get too tied up in that right now because of the limited time of the video. I just want to get this feeling down for you. All right, and then how that hangs out a little bit. Now remember, your point of view is still a little bit different from mine. Step back, take a look. Not doing too badly. Notice how I start as I'm drawing, because otherwise you get your hands in it, and you do anyway. I start at the upper left, because I'm right-handed, so I'm working away. If I started here and worked up this way, I would end up smudging things, and I, I don't want to do that too much. Now, from my point of view, the line of the stem comes almost exactly where this line and this meets. 
But if I did that, I would have all of this intersection, and I want to vary that a little bit to make it interesting. And then um, I have the idea of my flower stems. And remember how some of these petals come out at different angles? Look at each one individually. Do not draw them all, but do get some idea about how they're going. I'm going back to the vine charcoal because it's softer and uh, kind of creates. Remember, pick out some individuals and others just mass them together in a grouping of petals. Kind of makes it interesting. The variety is what makes it interesting. And I'm not even drawing exactly here. I'm just giving some idea of that, that flower in space. All right, I want a nice, a uh, little bit stronger one out here. Maybe one out here. Gathering them together. Another thing you can do with an eraser besides just um, correcting mistakes, it's kind of drawing with it. I'm kind of doing a negative drawing now. I'm lifting elements out of that that draws what we call negatively, just to kind of pull it and make it a little more interesting. I want to see that this petal is maybe sitting down on the table a little bit too. Now, speaking of the table, we don't want these objects just floating in space, and when we get into shading, that will work a little bit better. But let's set it down on the table. Where does this fit behind here? It touches right about there on the butter dish, comes out right about there, and then it comes down this way off here. So if I think about those lines, that back line has to go throughout this way. That corner comes down here. And even just throwing in that little bit of line, it puts these objects in space and sets them down on a table. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And um, do go around the house, grab some white objects. White objects are good to start with. I don't like that this line and that are exactly the same. So since that's just a flower stem, I, I can move that one a little bit, make it a little more interesting there. Anyway, go around the house, pick up some uh, white objects, and practice this on your own. Get your basic shapes, think about these at all time, and then put them together in a couple of still life drawings. So I've enjoyed this and I appreciate it so much that you are joining. Please remember to like, possibly subscribe, and share it with your friends if you're willing to do that. I really appreciate it because I want to expand these teaching and give it to as many people as possible. Thanks.